Kia ora. my name is Mr. Reddy and today we'll be looking at a year 9 maths class on the basic number skills. So this morning we'll be looking at how to add and subtract fractions with different denominators. This would be a year 9 maths class in New Zealand. So the learning objective for today is how to add and subtract fractions using different denominators. So for a fraction if I have 1 over 2, the top part is your numerator, the bottom part is your denominator. So in this case, we'll be looking at how to add two fractions with different bottom parts, different denominators. So just very quickly going over some of the basic skills. If you get two fractions with different numbers at the bottom, different denominators, the first, the first thing that needs to happen is to find a common number, which we call a common denominator. So uh, one sixth plus three quarters, they're both different denominators. My first job is to find a common denominator. To find a common denominator, I will multiply the two numbers. Six and four makes it 24. This is your common denominator, or what we call our lowest common multiple. So from six, I have to multiply by four. So from six, I have to multiply by four to get to 24. So the same thing I do with the numerator, it makes it 4, plus from 4 I have to multiply by 6, it's the same thing here, that makes it 18. Now 18 and 4 is 22 over 24, this is same as 11 over 12 in a simplified form. So that's the basic background as to how to add two fractions with different denominators. Now we're going to look at some of these in, in context. So let's have a look at a start activity. In this case, we have got two friends, Debbie and Ioni, are sharing a pizza. They got delivered. One of them eats half of the pizza and the other one eats one third. So it's fractions used in context. The question is, the pizza has already been cut into slices by the delivery company. How many slices would have been there? So what I'm going to do is, my job is to decode from the information that's given. So I'm going to write down Debbie, and she eats half, and uh, Ione eats one third. So he, uh, she eats half, I only eats one third. Now, the delivery company already had the pizza cut into pieces. My job is to find out how many pieces have been there already. So let's have a look at what's common between the two numbers or two fractions. So in this case, I can say, all right, the denominator, the common denominator would be six. So if common denominator is six, then half of that would be three over six. And this would be 2 over 6. So you can have an answer of, all right, it could have been 6 pieces or any multiples of 6. So what I'm saying is 12 pieces will also be okay. So this is the first one. What fraction of the pizza did Debbie and Oni eat all together? So that means eat all together, you have to add the two fractions. So half plus one third. Now you can only add if they have the same denominator. So that means three sixth plus two sixth, which makes it five sixth. So that is your final answer for that. Right, so let's have a look at a few examples. Is a weak example in class. So what will happen is I'll put the example up, give you a couple of minutes to think about it, and then we'll work it together. Right, so Natalie spends half of her allowance on clothes and three, uh, 3.20 on entertainment. She saves the rest. So that information, there's three pieces of information given here. She spends half of the allowance on clothes, 3.20 on entertainment and then saves the rest. So the question is, what fraction of her allowance does she spend? So uh, 
half of it is on clouds 320th is on entertainment so this is the spending that's the spending part so let's have a look at what's common so half and uh, 320th two sets of fractions different denominators my first job is to try and bring it down to a common denominator so 2 and 20 the lowest common denominator would be 20 so that half would be 10 over 20 and this is 3 over 20. How much does she spend? So she's spending money on clothes and uh, entertainment, therefore that makes it 13 over 20. That's the expense. The next part says, what fraction of our allowance does she save? So she's spending this much, therefore the rest of the allowance, she's saving it as a whole. That fraction will be 20 over 20. Take away the spending, therefore she's saving seven over 20 of that fraction. That's example one. Right, let's have a look at example two. Same concepts. Insurance brokers make 120th of their sales on insur travel insurance. So 120th on travel insurance and 2 -fifth on car insurance, 2 -fifth on car insurance. The question is what fraction of their sales is made in these two fields altogether? These two fields altogether. So that means we are adding the two fractions. So 120th and 2 -fifths once again two fractions with different denominators so we have to bring it down to a common denominator first between 20 and 5 so i can see a 5 will go into 20 so therefore this will be 8 over 20 and this would be 1 over 20 so the total is equal to 9 over 20. so that's the total uh, sales made from the two uh, fields together. The idea is the same, concept is the same, two fractions, bring it down to the common denominator and then add. Example three, a boat ramp is unsafe to use when the tide is too high or too low. The tide is too high one-tenth of the time, so this is too high and too low 3 20th of the time All right so two fractions once again different denominators the question two parts of the question the first one says for what fraction of the time is the ramp unsafe so it is unsafe whether it's 1 10th or 3 20th look at the common denominator so this would be 2 over 20 3 over 20 so therefore add the two that makes it 5 over 20 or 1 quarter. So in maths we try and always simplify to the lowest common, a uh, lowest uh, uh, fraction. So we simplify it to 1 quarter. So it is unsafe 1 quarter of the time. And the next one says, what fraction of the time is the ramp safe? So if it is unsafe 1 quarter, therefore 1 minus 1 quarter is 3 quarters. This is when it is safe. Example four, the last example. Class 10 HJ are doing meds. One quarter of the class is away sick. So I'm gonna write down one quarter is sick and one fifth of the class are at the music lesson. One fifth is at the music lesson. What fraction of the class is not present? So once again, uh, one quarter of them are not there at school, they are sick, and one fifth of them, of them are doing the music lesson. Once again, two fractions, different denominators. The common denominator would be 20, so that would be uh, 5 over 20. This would be 4 over 20. Add them up, 
that makes it 9 over 20. Therefore, 9 over 20th of the class is not there. So to finish off this lesson, I'm going to leave you with a class set of exercises. There are five questions that you can try. Same concept, two fractions, different denominators, find a common denominator, then you can add or subtract. So I'll leave it there for a while. So I hope you have done well in these uh, questions. Once you're ready, you can uh, press play. It will take you to another slide. And this is more sort of a fun maths game activity uh, as a puzzle. And let's see how many of you can uh, work this, out, this one out. So there are, there's a bus with seven girls. Each girl has seven bags. In each bag, there are seven big cats. Each big cat has seven little cats. Each cat has four legs. How many legs are present in the bus? So that's a brain teaser for you. Hope you've enjoyed the lesson. Thank you.